Hey everyone, Grant Alexander here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a live edge charcuterie board. That's right, charcuterie. So stay tuned and enjoy. Now I'm going to fill or stabilize all these little cracks and checks with some epoxy. Figuring out the correct placement for these is going to be the hardest part of this project. I need your help. I don't know where to put this. What do you think? Should I put it here? Here? Right here. What do you think? Yeah, right here, right? If you want a quick and fast drill depth guide, just put a piece of masking tape at the appropriate location, like I did here, and now you'll make sure you don't drill too far when you're drilling your pilot holes. When making a project that's going to be used with food, it's really important to use a food safe finish. And in this case, I've used a mixture of, I'm going to use this uh, butcher block oil and this honey bees wood conditioner, which is a mixture of beeswax and mineral oil. And I think the combination of the two is going to make this a really great long lasting finish.
I hope you enjoyed the video where I made this Live Edge Walnut Charcuterie Serving Board. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I really love how it turned out because working with walnut is just such a nice thing to do. The grain is beautiful, the color is amazing, and there's not much you need to do with walnut to make it look good. Let me know in the comments below what you'd use this serving board for. Do you want to use it for tea? Or do you want to use it for displaying your meats and cheeses? It's really up to you. Until next time, cheers! And have a great day. Are you here to supervise? Hey? You here to give some supervision? Rivet.